uh, Chile, uh, situated in the western side of South America, is known for stability and prosperity, uh, with its capital, Santiago, uh, shining as the economic heart of the country. It boasts a powerful high-income economy. It enjoys leading positions in various global rankings, from economic freedom to competitiveness. One exciting development is the introduction of the Ray Fintech, which is a fintech law. The law is expected to transform the economic framework of the country using various possibilities of technology, including the possibility of digital finance. It's extremely significant for the cryptocurrency sector. In uh, here we cover everything you should know about the present crypto regulatory environment in Chile. Excited? Please read on. Uh, Chile's approach to cryptocurrency regulation has taken a significant step forward with the introduction of the fintech law, the lay fintech. The law sets out clear guidelines for performances on principles involved in the modern players. The market guide was started to adjust outside the new chains and that the forced presentation images of the truth. They were all taking care of this situation. The main beaks because of the big fundamental and that builds ensure the security and reliability of the digital assets. Um, the introduction of the lay fintech is an important step in the history of Chile, um, especially when we consider its financial landscape. Um, the law was approved by the Chile um, in Congress in October 2022, um, and it was enacted in January 2023. Um, what makes the law special is the fact that it targets the modernization of the country's banking and payment sectors. Promoting financial innovation and inclusion is the strategy it proposes to achieve the targeted modernization. The main aspect of the law is the introduction of an open financial system. What it says about fintech companies and cryptocurrencies is vital to understand, as it allows us to understand how the country sees these sectors. The law brings regulations for fintech companies and payment initiation service providers. This means that these companies and service providers are required to meet standards for security and reliability. In the sect of crypto, the law provides rules for exchanges. But Exchange, custody, borrowing, and yield are the four prime activity areas in the crypto sector. Let's have a look at how the Chile crypto regulation framework regulates these four key activity areas. Exchange. The FinTech law regulates crypto exchanges. They are categorized as alternative trading systems. Only those exchanges which have authorization from the Financial Market Commission are allowed to operate. Uh, crypto services are also regulated under the FinTech law. Like exchanges, custody providers are also required to register and get authorization from the CMF. Uh, there are currently no specific guidelines issued by uh, regulators regarding borrowing in the crypto sector in Chile. Uh, uh, and similarly, yield-related activities like earning interest on crypto holdings uh, are also unregulated in the country. Uh, and here are the latest developments in Chile in the crypto regulation front. In December 22, 2023, the Tribunal of Defensa the Libre Competencia resolved a legal dispute ruling against crypto exchanges, Buddha.com, Crypto MKT, and Orion X, in their case against Chilean Bank. April 22, 2024, the Central Bank of Chile announced plans for proof of concept testing for a digital peso, moving closer to launching a central bank digital currency on uh, July 1, 2024. The iShare Bitcoin Trust was listed on the Santiago Stock Exchange. This allows Chilean investors to access the sector of spot Bitcoin ETS on July 5th, 2024. Tools for Humanity, operator of WorldCoin, changed its data collection policies in Chile to exclude children and adolescents from providing biometric data. Let's understand the crypto taxation framework in Chile. An individual is an individual needs to declare the property is made from crypto trading as profits from trading cryptos are subject to the global complementary or additional tax. Uh, businesses, they must treat crypto profits as income, subject to general taxes like the first category tax and global complementary or additional tax in our team. So if you are offering crypto services, 
you must charge value-added tax on your commissions. This means that service providers are required to issue invoices. Uh, on the other side, uh, must actually get very four million dollars in the country is often are strange. Um, crypto exchanges are features of additional responsibilities. Uh, they must have additional responsibility adhere to first category taxpayer obligations. Uh, and here's the timeline of crypto regulation evolution in Chile in June 2016. The Financial Market Commission clarified that crypto assets are not regulated as securities but can be used as a means of exchange if both parties agree. In February 2019, the Central Bank of Chile issued a memo stating that raw crypto assets can be used for exchange and investment. They are not considered legal tender. About May 2022, the Central Bank of Chile released a preliminary report exploring the potential issuance of a central bank digital currency. October 2022, the Chilean Congress approved the fintech law or the lay fintech. Uh, uh, January 2023, uh, law was enacted uh, establishing a regulatory, for, uh, regulatory framework for financial. In 2024, Chile is forging ahead as a trailblazer in crypto regulation across Latin America. With new laws in place, the country aims to provide clarity and stability for ventures maintaining by digital asset ventures. The regulatory framework promises to foster a robust environment for innovation in blockchain technology. The pioneering effort positions Chile, but the forefro offering a potential model for other nations looking to navigate the evolving landscape of digital finance. Also, read crypto regulations in Canada, key updates for 2024.